Hey, this is Chris Arnold, Avon Golf Leader, and this is the January 2017 meeting in your inbox for the Sunrise Avon team. And um, this month I um, got the idea for our topic today from a uh, the leadership kickoff event that I was at um, earlier this month um, with the other gold leaders and above in, in Scottsdale. And one of the things we did was we did a... Um, a workshop, kind of an abbreviated version of a leadership boot camp that, that's currently um, getting ready to roll out to a few cities around the, the country. And we did kind of an abbreviated version while we were there. And one of the things we talked about was um, really maximizing your, your warm market and focusing on your warm market to um, build your business. Um, but, you know, we weren't really talking about it in the way of, um, a lot of people think about um, when you're focusing on your warm market and building your business um, that you're you know you're kind of kind of hammering the same family members all the time or the same close friends all the time um, to be involved in your business in some way to be a customer or uh, join your team but we're, we're, we were actually focusing on you know the broader warm market um, so not, you know, your, your close friends necessarily that, you know, have the same circle of friends and you all know the same people. Uh, but, you know, the average person knows 250 people well enough to smile and say hello to. Um, and you probably know their name, maybe, you know, and something about them, like where they work or, um, you know, a, a hobby of theirs or something. And... So, you know, of those those 250 people, that's that, you know, they each know 250 people, too. So that's a really good source for you um, without having to really get into uh, talking to strangers and starting a relationship from scratch. So when you focus on on uh, your warm market and getting them involved in your business in, in whatever way, those are people that already know you, like you, probably trust you. Um, and, and those are three really important things when you're looking to do business with people. You're generally looking for people that you know, you like, and you trust. So um, we were all challenged at this um, workshop to do something that um, really is one of the first things that you do when you start your business. But it's something that we all tend to maybe have skipped over. Um, and it's make a list of 100 people that you know and you don't want to what a lot of us did when we first got started or when we think about making the list is we started with the people that we knew would be interested in the products or we knew were um, looking to get into having their own business and we kind of prejudged a lot of other people that we know and said, oh, they won't be interested for whatever reason. Um, and we say, you know, they, they don't wear makeup. They don't, um, they have a good job. They don't need a supplemental income. Um, they buy department store brands, so they wouldn't be interested in Avon. They might think it's cheap or something. So the, the challenge was to actually just list 100 names. Just get 100 names of people that you know on paper. And Start with, you know, your friends and family maybe that you've never contacted about your business, but then look at um, places that you go on a regular basis. So it could be work, it could be your kid's school, it could be um, your personal recreation activities, sports teams, um, groups that you get together with for hobbies or what have you, and also the same for your kids. Um, places that you've worked before, places that you've lived before, go through your phone, your social media, all of these people that you know that you maybe don't necessarily see on a on a day to day basis, or if you do, you've um, never approached them about your Avon business, or maybe haven't for a really long time. Um, and just get a hundred names on paper before you do anything else. Just get the hundred names on paper, you know. And like I said, you can go through your phone, you can go through your social media, think of every place you've ever worked, every place you've ever lived, um, and places that you go every day. So once you get those names on paper then you have to commit to actually contacting every one of them. And um, again, we, we don't want to prejudge because if we decide that if we decide that they're not interested without asking them if they're interested, 
we've taken away their choice. We, we, they don't have the option anymore to be interested. Um, and you really, you never know until you ask. So um, I've, I've often said, you know, if you, if you ask, it's possible they may say no, but if you don't ask, they can't say yes. So you want to give them the opportunity to say that yes. So what do you say with, to them um, when you contact them? The most basic starting point is contact them all and say, you know, if you're still fairly new, hey, I'm, um, I'm working on building my Avon business. Actually, that works if you're new or if you've been at it for a while. Um, I'm working on building my Avon business. Who do you know who would like to see an Avon brochure? Um, and the reason I personally like this approach is um, because it takes the pressure off of them. Um, sometimes the people that, especially people that are really close to us, they feel like if we're involved in something and we offer it to them that, um, that we're going to be upset or offended if they're not interested. And so that kind of takes some of that pressure off of them that, that we're okay if, if they're not interested. So who do you know who might like to see an Avon brochure? Or you can ask them, hey, when was the last time you saw an Avon brochure? And um, for those you know, people that are just acquaintances, maybe the, the clerk at your favorite coffee shop or your wait waitress at your favorite restaurant, um, that helps you gauge their current relationship with Avon. And so then you kind of know where to start. Um, another thing that they, and this was really a light bulb moment for me. This was kind of an aha for me at the workshop was um, they said, you know, if you are feeling awkward about the conversation, um, you know, like it's somebody that you know, um, you know, they, they live in a really nice house, you know, they stop at, shop at department stores, and you think, oh, they'd never be interested in having an Avon business, or they, they'd never be interested in the products because they use more expensive stuff. Um, so before you even get into the, you know, you don't have to pay a lot to get a good quality product. You can get a good quality product at a good price uh, with Avon, which is something they can't get at the department store. But before, you, or you know, even people in nice houses need extra money. So before you get into any of that, um, the easiest way to deal with a, a conversation that you might feel awkward about is um, state your fear first. So tell them, you know, I know you, you know, you live in this great house, and and you probably, you know, I I understand you may not. This may or may not be for you, but, um, you know, I wanted to at least give you the option um, if you'd like to hear about maybe having an Avon business or, um, you know, I, I feel like I'm, I, I don't want to feel like I'm being, I don't want you to feel like I'm being pushy, <laughs> but I wanted to see, you know, if you'd be interested in taking a look at the Avon brochure and seeing if there's anything in there that interests you. So just tell them up front what you're afraid that their reaction will be. And, um, and it really does make the conversation less awkward. Um, and a lot of times you'll get, well, why would you think that? <laughs> you know, there, because um, a lot of times our fears about how people will react um, aren't aren't really accurate. It's not how the person would react. So, um, you know, just telling them up front, you know, I, I really trust your opinion. I would love to have you try this skincare. Um, but, you know, I was, I was kind of afraid to ask because I thought you might think I was being pushy or something like that. Um, so you just um, go through your list, you know, get your hundred names on paper, go through your list and start contacting people. Um, I can promise you that if you contact a hundred people that know you, that, you know, know you well enough to smile and say hello and just offer them a brochure. Would you like to take a look at an Avon brochure? Who do you know who would like to take a look at an Avon brochure? Who do you know who would like to supplement their income without having an additional boss? Um, who do you know who just wants to be their own boss, additional income or not? <laughs> and I, I guarantee you, if you contact those 100 people that you put on that list, especially if you make sure it's 100 people that you've never contacted about your business before, there's no way that your business isn't going to grow. It, it has to grow. There's, there, you can't contact that many people and not get new customers and not get new team members. So I will um, ask you to accept the same challenge that I did at the workshop to make your list of 100 names and start contacting them all. And it may take you all year to get through that list of 100 because you know you may you know get through your first 10 
and have new team members to work with, new customers to work with. And, you know, so then it may be, you know, next month you have to do another 10. So um, you don't have to contact them all 101 day. Um, if you're on my team and you do this, let me know. Um, I'd love to hear how it went for you. Um, you know, we can, uh, you know, tweak things a little bit and see, um, you know, if there's any any areas for improvement. That was another thing that we talked about a lot at the uh, workshop was um, that failure is not a bad thing. Um, and um, one of our one of my previous district managers used to remind us um, that. Uh, Failure is not a bad thing. It's just the opportunity to start again with more knowledge and uh, experience. So um, contacting 100 people is a good way to get knowledge and experience. Um, but if you do it, if you do your 100 names, if you contact them, uh, let me know. And, you know, maybe you'll get a little reward for that. So um, we'll, we'll have to see what that'll be. But um, so if you're doing your list, let me know you're doing it. And then we'll figure out the reward for contacting all 100 people. All right. Uh, hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful uh, Avon day, Avon week, every month. And, uh, you know, since it's January, have a fantastic Avon year. And I will see you all again next month.